Qualifying is always an important part of the weekend. Uh, where you start on the grid has a big influence on the rest of your race. In Monaco in particular, that's even more so because of the difficulty of overtaking. It's almost impossible to overtake, so your grid position, more so than anywhere else, is a huge part of the weekend. We start thinking about qualifying in Monaco especially earlier than you normally would in the weekend because it's so important. We change our Friday programme a bit for Monaco compared to what we would normally do. Because of the layout of the circuit, it's more important than ever that the drivers can get into a rhythm and find some confidence. For that reason, we tend not to do too much specific aero testing or anything like that because it's more important that the drivers get to do a lot of laps um, without too much interruption, really. Q1 especially is very busy in Monaco, and for that reason, most cars would go out with a plan to run for pretty much the whole session. Uh, the risk of yellow flags and red flags is high all the time. So you need to be out there setting a lap time as soon as you can and then continue to, setting, to set lap times to make sure you don't fall foul of anybody else's mistake. Finishing qualifying, if you've got it all right, is a great feeling for an engineer. First of all, it's a feeling of relief that you didn't make any mistakes because it's so easy to get it wrong and you feel pretty silly if you do. But having got over the sense of relief, you can then start to feel pleased that you got everything right as well and performed as well as you could.